and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. I apologize for no suit and tie today because I was just out and about taking some updated pictures of both of our listings in Mountain View Estates and beautiful Hurricane. I decided, you know what? Why not? We're about 60 days away from potentially completing your future dream home. So I figured that if I take you guys on a quick walkthrough of this property, you might be able to catch it and potentially offer on this home at a stage where you could still customize some of the finishes and select some of the features of this home. So without further ado, let's dive into it and check it out. So Mountain View Estates is a pretty new subdivision in the heart of Hurricane. And this particular property sits on a massive 0.4 acre lot with really, really cool, expansive rear views. The home is set back a little further back behind the road, so it's gonna be nice and tucked in. I really like that setting. And it is a four bedroom, two and a half bathroom home with a casita and a rear observation deck. I know that if any of you have been Follow me, you know that I do appreciate a good garage setup. So let's start there. Now this home is just getting ready uh, to be insulated. So we're at a relatively early stage. So don't judge this home by, um, by its landscaping because that hasn't gone in yet. And one important thing to notice too is all of the massive side parking that you're gonna have beside this huge RV garage. This 0.4 acre lot is quite spacious for this area. And the best part, it's don't have any rear neighbors. It drops off into a little ravine directly behind and gives you even more rear privacy. So the garage is L-shaped, you have the entry for your two-car garage and that's the extra wide extra tall door for your RV garage for those of you that are curious I will post in the description below I'll post the link to the full MLS listing so let's enter through the garage I just want to show you guys the magnitude the size of this RV garage what would you park here I'm curious. And please don't say Class A. I mean, <laughs> Class A would be great. It'll definitely fit in here. But I want to hear some more creative answers. If you had access to, I know what I would do. I know Michonne would buy a lot more Christmas decorations and put them all over here. And a lot of people put rafters up here. And another thing you could do is you could potentially add another roll-up door back here and have a gym with absolutely killer views. Let me peek out here real quick. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. But just imagine having these unobstructed views of the mountains to the rear of the property. And so then the rear half of this RV garage could easily be your home gym or home office or whatever you want it to be. But anyway, I'm curious to hear your suggestions. What would you guys do with this space? I'll post the link to the full MLS listing that has this entire floor plan if you guys wanna know the measurements or dimensions. And of course, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer all of them. So there's a man door that takes you into this oversized two car garage. This home is gonna have some really nice premium finishes on the inside, which I cannot wait to show you guys. So there are two large windows that open to the front of the property from inside of this garage. So it'll have plenty of natural light. Now this home does have a flat roof. So all of your gutters are ran on the inside, giving the exterior of this home an even better curb appeal. You could see those PVC pipes back there as well for the drainage of the flat roof above the RV. Your water heater and water softener 
is going to go out on this pedestal. And the builder on this home is absolutely incredible. Every home that she has built has been built to the highest standards. And I'm really glad to be the listing agent on this home because I do feel very confident in the build quality of this home. So this is the mudroom area as we enter into the living room. Now, another exciting thing is I will have a full tour of the completed interior much sooner than anticipated because this builder has another project with a very similar floor plan on the interior. Like the living room is virtually the same. The entire floor plan is virtually the same on the inside, but the exterior is different. And that tour is coming to our channel within the next week. But wow, look at these views. There is a private airport just on the other side of this hill. So there's some air traffic, nothing that's immediately over the top of this home, but it's kind of cool to see some of the smaller private aircraft in the distance have beautiful views of the local mountains and unparalleled privacy with having some homes further back, probably about a half a mile to a mile back. Nothing that's immediately directly behind this property. Let me turn around and uh, talk a little bit about this space. So you will have a massive entry with high vaulted ceilings, high vaulted ceilings throughout the living room. You're gonna have a fireplace on this side. So this is the living room side. Let me back up a little bit to give you guys a true perspective on this space. It is quite large. There's a large window into the dining area. This door will take you into the backyard. And you're gonna have cabinets all along this wall, a massive center island right here in the middle. There will be a great hidden pantry that takes up all of this space back here, and it will be covered with the cabinets on the exterior. So uh, unless you know, you don't know. Okay, I know that it's probably really hard to tell what are we looking at here because uh, none of the sheetrock is in place yet. And so just, just take my word for it, okay? <laughs> this is the entry into the primary suite, master bedroom, however you wanna call it. The master is gonna have three large windows. So you can take in the views of the mountains. We get a little bit closer to the window so you guys can get a better feel for the views and the privacy. And it is quite spacious. Again, I apologize for the current state. I know it's really hard to tell. Another really cool thing is your primary bath is going to have a really large shower, dual vanity, then it's going to go into this area where you have a water closet, then you have a large primary dressing, and it opens into the laundry room. You have, you'll have a, a nice space with some cabinets, room for the washer and dryer right here in the laundry room. And then this opens into a hallway that takes you into the area, <coughs> like a hallway area that opens up to your other two uh, bedrooms, as well as your casita or an office. Every bedroom in this home is very spacious. Again, I know it's really hard to tell from just watching the video, but I will also post a link to the full MLS listing it has the plans of this property so you can look at the exact dimensions of every room. Walking through more sticks. This is the front bedroom. PVC plumbing that you see there is the drainage from the roof. This room opens up to the front of the property and there's going to be some really cool landscaping and I think we're actually putting in a little courtyard in the front. So even more privacy on the front. There were some substantial costs with getting this home situated exactly as it sits on this lot. And I cannot wait to see what this will look like once it's all landscaped. So this is the Casita office. It's gonna have high vaulted ceilings. 
and a sliding door that opens up into the courtyard. So this can be accessed independently. Closet, set of French doors right here that opens into main living space. Let's go out back real quick and check out the size of this lot because I think it's quite impressive. It's a 0.4 acre lot. The rear of the house is gonna have some really nice privacy because there's nobody directly behind you. There's a nice spacious patio with a stub for a barbecue right there. That's the door that takes you into the garage. This door will take you back into the dining room. And I'm gonna sacrifice my shoes and walk all the way back here so I can give you guys a better feel for this backyard. I think this will be epic. There's definitely plenty of room for a pool. And all of the homes that are being built in this subdivision are starting in the 800s and they're going north from there. So as you see, there's a field with some vacant land and it drops and drops some more before you see any houses. You have amazing views, 360 degrees, Pine Valley Mountain to the north. And look how far away I am from this house on this lot. This is truly a large backyard for Southern Utah. If you're watching, if you're thinking about it, what would you do with this space? By the way, that right there is a massive observation deck on that flat roof portion. There will be a metal staircase that takes you up there and is going to be substantial enough to where you could probably place a hot tub or utilize that space with some outdoor furniture. There's lots of things that you could do. Again, this lot is elevated, as you can see as I walk on this edge. It's probably about a 10 foot drop here, so there's a substantial amount that had to be spent on retention and making it all come together. And if you look out to the front, all of that is your side parking beside an already massive RV garage. Folks, if you have any questions about this property, if you'd like to find out what it would take to put it under contract, or if you have any questions about the area or what it's like to live here, please drop me a comment below or reach out to me directly. My contact information is directly below. Thanks for tuning in.